I have a book on all this, it's called On Moral Fiction. The truly moral book is one which is radically open to persuasion, but looks hard and steadily at the problem and keeps looking for answers. It ends up giving you an absolutely clear vision, as if the writer had nothing to do with that vision. You know, he's just done everything in his power to imagine how things are. The reason I bring up On Moral Fiction in class is because I think the notion of art not imitating life, but art being a guide for life and for human activity. That's a very appealing idea to me, and it's also very useful for students of the novel in terms of interpreting the novel. With his colleagues, with people who were capable of very good writing, and this comes up in, in the treatment he dished out to them in On Moral Fiction, he was pretty harsh. He wanted everyone to do better, to do a better job. He took literature very seriously. He actually believed that life imitates art. If you understand the serious obligation you have as a writer, the moral obligation to really follow every decision all the way to its consequence and bring the reader along for that, you could give people help. You could change the world.